Okay, what's going on subscribers and subscribers to be? Um, if you're already a subscriber, you know that today I'm doing a little something different for the channel. Um, typically I talk about things such as music, guns, cars. I'm kind of shifting the focus of my video a bit towards stocks, um, stocks, the stock market, just financial literacy altogether, something that I'm really passionate about. I'm going to be doing some um, detailed videos, just breaking a few things down to um, any stock market newbies as well as guiding um, to any stock market newbies, as well as guiding you guys along the way, um, showing you how I do my portfolio, portfolio and basically how I invest for the most part. Um, the topic of my video today is going to be um, the top reasons why I invest in stocks. I basically broke my reasons down into five main reasons. Um, before I get into those reasons, I want to give you all a brief history. Um, Prior to me being here about two years, about three years ago, I started teaching. Um, I taught for about two years, decided I wanted to do something slightly different, packed up everything, left Georgia, moved out here to Colorado, and I started a new job. Um, you guys are going to be seeing that in my videos as well. All right, so what I want to go ahead and do is jump into my five reasons. Okay, so the first reason that I invest in stocks is because it's better better than banks the main reason i invest in stock markets is because it's better than banks right now if you're saving your money in the bank most banks are giving you less than 0.5 percent a year for your savings account even if you're looking at something such as a, uh, a cd something that gives you a little bit more um if you don't already know a cd is a certificate of deposit if you have a cd from your bank um, most banks are offering about 1%. If you're on the higher end, something such as um, maybe Chase Bank, if I'm not mistaken, last time I checked, they had the highest rate on the CD currently. They um, they are at about 1.5 to 1.85% if you lock your money in for 18 months, which is a year and a half. If you lock your money in for that year and a half period, you cannot um, use it. And after that year and a half period is over with, you will get your 1.85%. That's like I said, if you have a CD with Chase. Um, the reason that I don't like that, number one, is because my money's locked up. If I really need to use it, I can't if it's inside of a CD. And also with the savings account, the interest rate is um, still really low. And when you're looking at the stock markets, the S&P, the Dow Jones, they normally make about 10% each year. Um, the past two years has been really high. I know it's been for 2019, it was about a maybe maybe a um, 20 or 30% increase. 2018, it was a 30 increase, 30% 30 increase for the S&P as well. So 30% compared to less than 2%, I'll take the 30% anytime. And also if I have my, my money in stocks, I can definitely take that money out. The other reason that I don't like to invest in banks when you have your money inside of these banks, it's going to be taxed as earned income, which is one of the um, highest tax um, categories that you can be in. Earned income, which also includes working income, is one of the highest ways that you can be in tax. Whereas on the other hand, when you're dealing with the stock market, your money isn't taxed until um, it's pulled out. And it's a capital gains tax, which is going to be a lot less than what you're going to be taxed when you're um, working with the bank. My second reason for investing in stocks is because it's cheaper than real estate. Cheaper than, just gonna put RE. It's cheaper than real estate. What I mean by this, um, I was looking at some um, real estate back home in Georgia. Georgia real estate is relatively cheap. Um, I found a duplex for about $100,000. Um, I would end up probably having to put maybe five thousand, you know, between three to $6,000 down. Um, and that's still good. The only problem is at the time I didn't really want to put that amount of money down and not be able to get it back. Um, when you're starting off with stocks or if you're in the stock market in general, you can buy a stock for $2 or a stock for $250,000 if you have the money for it. For me, the um, stock market was a little bit better. I wanted to invest smaller chunks of money over time and the stock market basically gave me an opportunity to do, to do that. Also, when you're looking at real estate, um, real estate can be uh, relatively passive, but there's a little bit of a little bit more work that um, that I see as far as in my opinion that's required for real estate compared to um, picking and monitoring and managing stocks. All right, so my third reason for um, investing in stocks is because it's a um, a way to earn passive income. Earn passive income. Oh, 
Having stocks is a way to earn passive income. I'll um, explain, um, I guess in a later video, the difference between growth and um, dividend stocks. But dividend stocks, which pay you um, quarterly or yearly or however they pay, they give you money without you having to do any work. Whether the stock goes up or down, you're still going to get that, um, that dividend. And that's a form of passive income. That's a form of cash flow. And if you know anything about financial education or financial literacy, you know that cash flow is always our goal. So um, stocks do provide that passive income cash flow. Um, like I said, definitely through dividend stocks as well as through growth stocks. Over time, your money will increase without you necessarily having to do anything. I really like that um, advantage of being in the stock market. As I just stated, passive income is always great. Uh, being able to make money without having to work for it is great. Um, as many streams of income is always a good goal for anyone who's trying to become um, financially stable or wealthy or rich or however you want to um, consider that to be. The next thing that I really love about stocks is that Unlike my other forms of income or my other forms of storing money, if it's on me, if I save it at the house, if I, uh, unlike gold or something, if you have it on you, if you choose to bury it, no one can steal my stocks. No one can rob me. If I have my money into the stock market, if somebody was to come into my house, of course I have insurance and all that good stuff, but being that it's in my portfolio, which is somewhere else, um, I don't have to worry about going through the headache of filing insurance, all the extra stuff. I know that my money is safe. Even if something was to happen online or through the internet and stuff, my money is still backed up. It's insured um, through the markets that I invest through. So that's probably one of the bigger things. You can't take it. No one can take it from you. Um, to be honest, the only way that you can really lose money or be robbed by the stock market is if you do it to yourself. And like I said, I'll explain um, those things in later videos. It's, it's pretty much, it's, it's super safe. Yeah, I really love the safety provided, the safety net provided by the stock market. All right, and the fifth and main reason that I enjoy the stock market is because of volatility. Make sure I spelled that correctly. Nope, volatility. Volatility. The next reason I love the stock market is volatility. I love the fact that the stock market has its ups and downs. Um, a lot of people are scared of that. The fact their money can, um, or their stock can decrease in value in a short amount of time. Uh, with the way that I invest it's actually better for me. Um, the fact, the fact that stocks can go up and down, it basically gives me a time where I can analyze the stock, find out what I think it should be valued or where it's typically valued at, and then try to find a time period to get it at a discount. Let's say typically, on average, a stock is on this line right here, but the value goes up and down, but typically I find that it's value right here. Anytime I see that stock go into this area, I'm going to buy. When I see it, if depending on what the stock is, if I see it come too far in this area, I'm going to sell. So due to this volatility, if I'm buying here at a low price and selling high, I'm going to make money. Like I said, if you're a short-term investor, this volatility, volatility, volatility can be a problem. But if you're a long-term investor like me, you can definitely um, do your research, analyze your stocks, and really capitalize on the volatility on the stock market. With that being said, these are the main reasons that I personally invest in the stock market. If you have your reasons, leave them in the comments below. Um, if you have any comments on my videos, anything that you suggest I do different, whether it be the mic or the lighting, please let me know that in the comments below as well. Below in the description, I'm going, to have, I'm going to list a link to my Robinhood account. Robinhood is the app that I use to basically get started in the um, stock market about three years ago. You can trade there without actually paying for trading fees. Your money is insured. Um, I've been, like I said, using it for years. And also, if you use my link, you'll get a free um, stock for signing up. With that being said, um, like this video. Um, write any comments that you have down below. 
If you have any videos that you would like to see from me in the future, please also leave those in the comments. I'll do my best to read every comment and to respond to everyone who has left a comment. And see you guys shortly. Thanks for subscribing.